Damn! After a couple of years of not getting beaten to an absolute bloody pulp by his mustachioed father, Mark, aka Invincible, is coming back. And he's probably gonna get beat up again. F's in the chat, folks. Prayers up for Mark's sweet superhero bod. Unfortunately, the way things are looking, we're not getting the full season right away, so we gotta wait even longer to watch this spandex-wearing teen get demolished. Phrasing. Welcome back to Channel Frederator. Let's talk about whether it's okay that Seth Rogen doesn't even pretend to change his normal speaking voice while playing a caked up alien with a penchant for violence. When can we watch Invincible again? Just the other day, Amazon dropped a brand new trailer for Invincible Season 2. This came with the news that new episodes would be available on November 3rd, 2023. That's not so bad. One episode per week, adding to the excitement and community building that seems to have defined the latest era of streaming. Binge? Nah, I wanna wait and hypothesize with the homies. However, as it turns out, this will only be a limited block of four episodes, with the remaining episodes being released at some unspecified point in 2024. Hmm, that's not so good. So what's the deal? Why split it up, making fans wait even longer? Well, some seem to think that it has something to do with these strikes going on right now, where writers and actors can't really continue to work on ongoing projects. Others think that it's just meant to continue the conversation around the show, keeping people waiting and wondering longer. And of course, there are the folks who think that it's the global elite siphoning life energy from innocent civilians, but I'm not exactly sure how they connected that conspiracy theory to a season of superhero TV getting chopped in too. To sum it all up, we're getting a month of Invincible starting early November, and then we've gotta wait until 2024 for the rest of the season. No solid window for that 2024 release. However, in addition to the latest trailer and the release date announcement, Prime also revealed an episode specifically focused on Adam Eve at Comic-Con. So if you're jonesing for some Invincible action right now, you can pop on over to your favorite streaming device and watch a full-length episode concerned with the origin story of an off-brand blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. Interestingly enough, Adam Eve is also getting a turn-based RPG visual novel PC game. Can't say I saw that one coming. That's hitting Steam later this year. What will Season 2 be about? Spoiler alert! Season 1 ended with a beatdown, an Omni-Man abandoning Earth. Thankfully, he left his son, Invincible, alive. Turns out that name might actually mean something after all. This did come with the revelation that Omni-Man is a Viltrumite, and that his people are looking to conquer Earth ASAP. Uh-oh. Omni-Man will continue to be a looming threat in Season 2, along with the possibility of a Viltrumite invasion. In the trailer, we meet Great Thaddeus, a key comic representative who mentions Viltrumite against Viltrumite. This is compounded by Omni-Man's reintroduction, where the first thing he says is, you should have died at birth. Brutal. We're gonna see an invincible Omni-Man rematch, aren't we? However, there is a new big bad that seems poised to influence major events in the upcoming season. This time around, it's Angstrom Levy, a scientist who figured out how to travel between dimensions. He uses this ability to try and gain knowledge from all of his alternate universe selves, but Mark stops him, leaving Levy on a mad quest for revenge. The scientist, using his multiversal portals, wants to take advantage of what Invincible fears, namely becoming someone like his father. This should involve the introduction of alternate universe versions of Invincible and his allies, and potentially showing the world how dangerous superheroes can be. The stories told here will be loosely based upon creator Robert Kirkman's comic, akin to how The Walking Dead was adapted. So don't go deep diving into the Invincible compendiums looking for big spoilers. You'll see some familiar faces, but they'll be doing different things. Who is in Season 2? There will be plenty of other subplots as well, featuring the many colorful characters of the Invincible universe. Returning characters include Invincible, played by Steven Yuan, Omni-Man, played by J.K. Simmons, Invincible's mother, played by Sandra Oh, Adam Eve, played by Jillian Jacobs, Art Rosenbaum, played by Mark Hamill, Alan the Alien, played by Seth Rogen, Amber Bennett, played by Zazie Beetz, and Cecil Stedman, played by Walton Goggins. What a name. Apparently, Invincible's mom, Debbie Grayson, is going to be playing a larger role this time around. She's got a lot to think about and grieve, now that her husband has turned out to be an otherworldly warlord looking to conquer her home planet. In terms of new faces, there are plenty indeed. Optimus Prime himself, aka Peter Cullen, will step in as the previously mentioned Great Thaddeus. That's just the tip of the iceberg, as there are almost too many stars to name. Season 2 will feature Rob Delaney, Jay Farrow, Tim Robinson, Ben Schwartz, Leah Thompson, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan, just to name a few. 
Their roles haven't been explicitly expounded upon, but I'm sure many of their cartoon faces will be explicitly pounded upon, if you know what I mean. What's next? After all of this waiting, you'll be glad to hear that Season 3 of Invincible is already in development, and the folks working behind the scenes would like to make it so that fans never have to wait for an extended period between seasons again. Kirkman has mentioned that things have been put in place to ensure that there won't be any more two-year gaps between seasons, despite how long it takes to animate. So after this weird and wacky wait time, we'll be getting back to regularly scheduled doses of Invincible for the foreseeable future. And that's that. More Invincible coming your way, but not necessarily in the way or time frame that you'd expect. What did you think of the latest trailer? Mostly just showing off the names of those involved, but that's enough to get the fans hyped up on pedigree alone. Is this wonky release schedule throwing you off? Make sure you let us know in the comments and subscribe to Channel Frederator for more news like this. Thanks for watching, and remember, Frederator loves you!